Okay. Okay. Seems we're live. Fantastic. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, that's right. I was doing that remotely. Uh, we need to... Where was it? Here we go. Uh, we need to update our ground level cargo rocket silo rail block. Cargo rocket silo rail block uh, blueprint. Uh, with blue belts as opposed to space belt. And I think we've done everything else that we need to do. Um, in order to have all of this work. So let's continue with that for starters. Mostly copying this will be the same, uh, will be fine, but I wonder to what extent, yeah, I think we can definitely copy-paste some of this at least. It might be a tile off or something. Let's have a look. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed the... Well, no. I shouldn't actually have grabbed the constant combinators, because those have got... Um, those have got LTN settings encoded into them. But it might yet give us some idea where we want to put these things. Um... Not as much as I might have hoped, actually, because we've got one extra uh, train station here. So the, the first three are going down here, and the next one, two, three, four, there's seven of these. Okay. All right, then. And I think we came to the conclusion that get out of here tree uh, I think we came to the conclusion uh, that there's no need for lane balances here actually so let's not worry too much about that balanced unloader right 90 per second I think is what we want here and then we'll change it up just a little bit. Don't need the uh, lane balancer. Um, do we even have room? I'm sure we do have room to make this work. Let's suppose this is going to be where our corner is. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Wow. Nice. Um, and then we're mostly going to copy this. Uh, is that going to fit behind the substations? Well, let's find out. We're definitely get re getting rid of this space rail anyway. A uh, space belt, rather. In fact, I should use a deconstruction planner. That's going to be much easier. Hmm, I don't want to get rid of all of them just yet. Uh, I want to leave some of them as a guide. as to where some of these uh, stations are going. 
let's just copy this much. Actually, since the filters are already removed on this, that would make it even easier. Because we can snap to the two-tile rail. Okay. Uh, so next is... this goes here. This goes... about here. Might be a little better if we just do it this way this time. And then... I don't mind this layout. Easy enough. Technically... You know, it might even be worth putting filter inserters on these, in place of these stack inserters, just so that we know exactly what goes into uh, each of these cargo rocket silos at a glance. I'll think about it. Uh, anyway, this will probably go here, and this will probably go here. I guess that will look okay as long as it's consistent. And then... Let's just copy this part. Wait, what? Oh, I copied too much. That goes there. That goes there. Okay. And then... Fantastic. the belts going down again. Alright. So we want this going up here. Probably that is just inside the range at which it's really awkward to decide whether a long belt looks better, uh, underground belt looks better. But I guess this is fine. And same again. Should have copied these down in the first place. That looks really weird. But now that one looks weird. Oh, in. Alright, that's no big deal. That'll be fine. And now we just need to do something similar down here. Hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sunny morning to all. It has been a mercilessly sunny day here today. Uh, but not going to complain about that too much after literal flooding. Okay, we need to blue beltify this stuff. Uh, this part's obviously going to be easy to replicate. Let's grab our... Balanced unloader. 
left side. Get rid of the plane balancer part. Fantastic. And didn't know? No, it's fine. It's not the worst. Uh I didn't actually it didn't actually get so hot that I wondered if it was going into the forties or anything. Um where's that belt remover? There we go. Uh, but it was hot enough that I decided to delay starting the stream a little bit. Well, more than a little bit, I suppose. Unfortunately. Uh, maybe this would look better. But then, how is that going to look in relation to this one? Exactly the same. Okay, let's keep it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Fantastic. Uh, let's copy... This so it lines up with that. And that lines up with that. Everything looks nice and neat. Actually, yeah, bring that over here. Oops. Perfect. And then I think that's done. And we just have these belts left uh, to update. Is that all going to be powered? Yeah, it's powered. Okay. Uh, I'm going to copy this over here. I don't suppose I'm going to outdo my previous self in how neat this part could be. How far does that reach? Uh, almost perfect. Unfortunate. Okay. Blue belt. Let's just remove the space belt. Goes here. Goes here. And... That looks kind of weird. Let's see what looks the least weird here. Nothing, probably. Yeah, it. I sort of see why I did it like this before. Hey, Ninja Dogs. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing fine. Uh, as far as people that I know directly goes, basically fine. Um, okay, so you're picking up cargo rocket sections. Oh, I never fixed this, uh, yeah, I never finished this, uh, blueprint right here. Or, I, I, or rather, I finished the blueprint, I removed the old doesn't work properly station from this, and I didn't replace it just yet. Um, LTN. The trouble is the only blueprint of this I made is on the left side. Um, that could be okay. I just have to remove some stuff first. I want to get around to... Oh, this has already got a RoboPort talking to it as well. That's good. We can cut that part out. But yeah, I want to make a left side, right side a bit more compact and refined version of this. Uh, but for now, this is fine. Substation goes about 
here. That's actually straight up and down, that's good. And I guess here. And I guess the timer is only going to start once all of this is powered. So the bots will actually load up all of the cargo rocket sections uh, before we start loading. And now the timer has started. Once a minute has passed, it'll start loading. Everything will be perfectly in sync. We won't have any inserters sticking out. And then we'll deliver these cargo rocket sections uh, over here. We seem to have rocket fuel, but it's looking a bit stuck. There we go. Um, what? Read hand contents hold, everything equals zero. Oh, that's the only one that has any rocket fuel left. Because I had a short train come earlier. Alright, that's fine. Cool. Oh. Although, now that we unloaded it just from that one cargo wagon, uh... And we don't have any, like, belt or lane balancer. Everything's going to end up on one side. That's... that bit's normal. Uh, all of the rocket fuel is going to end up on one side of the belt. And then it's going to be a bit weird when we unload it from here later. I'm sure it'll be fine. We've got way, way, way more storage than the amount of rocket fuel we ask for here. Wait. But actually... We were already asking for more than a trainload of rocket fuel, and it's all being put into these six chests. Uh, so that might actually be a problem. I guess we could get the bots to pick these up. And as soon as they're empty, or close to empty, we'll just undo that. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so. I believe we might actually be finished here now. Let's get our spiders to build the rest. That should do it. Wait, is this space pipe? This is space pipe, isn't it? Uh, that will need correcting. Not going to be much of an issue because regular pipe, regular underground pipe goes further than underground space pipe. I think that's all of it except for up here. And we don't Oh, that's right. In space, we weren't able to uh, module and beacon these. Well, we were just using speed modules. Uh, where's our fuel refinery? Module goes here. And then we need a beacon. Whoops. Beacon with speed modules. Do we really need it? Eh, it's fine, it's like 200 kilowatts. Uh, let's see. Beacon, beacon, beacon. Where am I? There we go. And I don't suppose I can tell it to put the modules in with just a ghost. Nope. A sigma beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Whoa, spiders. Unexpected spiders. The best and friendliest kind. 
Uh, wait, what? What am I doing with these underground pipes? That doesn't look quite right. Uh, how am I gonna... How am I gonna connect... So this goes here, and this should go here, and then we should probably do it like this. No, that doesn't quite work. Um, I could move the sub, could I? Let's start by removing this. We'll assume that we're going to do this part symmetrically. Uh, like so. And then we can probably... Uh, we're one tile short of reaching that all the way through. Unfortunate. Uh, what about... Oh. Uh, if one of these just happened to line up correctly, we could... We're, we're literally one tile off being able to pipe the fluid directly into the cargo rocket silos. Um, let's see. I think we're just gonna have to bring this down here. And we could squeeze a pump in there. I'm not 100% convinced this works, or at least it's not entirely consistent. But if we don't completely fill these storage tanks and we change destination to somewhere closer, uh, it might expel the fluid uh, back into the fluid network. What is this for? It's just telling us how much... We've got... Alright. Uh, liquid. Rocket fuel. Less than... Let's say... 15k? That should be fine. How early in your SpaceX run did you start your railways? I just got up to blue science. Can you not just alter your power supply, like reduce the size of the substations? Uh, maybe. I guess it's done now. Um, yeah, I kind of, uh... Uh... Kind of dragged my feet a little bit before I really got into the rail blocks with this playthrough. I always do, like, I, I always want to get into rail blocks as quickly as possible, but end up spending more time than I would like on, like, a main bus. Um, okay. What should we do? Uh, we should probably blueprint this thing. I don't think we've got uh, got this saved yet. Yeah, so let's grab that. Uh, I'll make a new... Uh, I'll make a copy of this blueprint and just change... Change the name and stuff. Select new contents. Not the trains. Not the train fuel. Train stop names, yes. Uh, entities, obviously. Modules, yes. That part's wrong. Uh, let's fix it. Um... Yeah, that's... I don't know. 
Maybe it'd be a bit more consistent looking if it was like that. That looks too long though. Okay. That's decent, I suppose. Uh, let's get our construction spiders over here. And once again, uh, let's see. Select new contents. Don't think it matters if I wait for the bots or not, but we'll do it anyway. And this goes here. No trains, train stop names, everything else, yes. I don't know why there would be a crafting combinator blueprint setting here. And the rest looks fine. Fantastic. Is the pump connected like this? Wait, what? Oh. No, it is not. There we go. Once again, select new contents. Which is a lot less of a chore than it used to be before the Select New Contents button existed. Especially when you're making a giant blueprint for Omni Smelters or something. Okay. That should be fine. And now we have our uh, now we have eight more cargo rockets we can use. And I need to figure out, well, I could do it very simply by just saying, why are there extra cargo rocket sections in this one? Well, I was probably going to use that one for the cargo rocket sections anyway. Uh, so I guess this can be cargo rocket sections. I could just use some circuitry to say pick up uh, like more cargo rocket sections from the same belt after, uh, after the rocket is ready to launch. It would need another inserter. But on the other hand, we'd also be dropping all of the cargo rocket sections that are supposed to be supplying these rockets into here. I think I, for a couple of reasons, I would rather just request cargo rocket sections here. Uh, so we're requesting 500 because that is... Uh, that is a rocket full. And over here, we're going to get space capsules. This is initially going to cause a ridiculous run on space capsules and everything that goes into them. But on the other hand, we do have literally full storage of every single resource, or basic resource, at the moment. So, if there's a time to do that, it's now. A hey, Hughes Mike, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, okay, so... Where were we? Uh, so this is cargo rocket sections. Let's put a label on the map. And capsules go here. I don't think we're ever going to need more than one for each of these. 
Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Three rockets in a row ready to launch. Four rockets, five, and I'm guessing six. Very nice. Um, what are these bots doing? What? Huh? Normally, if they're hovering like that, I would expect it to be because... Uh, one of the spider's inventory is full, but it doesn't look like that's the case right now. Speaking of robots, uh, we can get rid of that extra roboport now. They're not associated with the roboport network here, it doesn't look like. Wait, can you tell by the color green? I think the green ones come from the spiders, I'm not sure. And they're still not going back, I don't know why. Are any of these spiders completely full? The answer is yes, it's probably this one. Uh, let's go back to... What are we doing here? Ooh! Uh, okay, I was... I gotta fix the bot issue first, but... I would definitely like to... Why do you have one fast splitter? Okay, we need to change some of these logistical quests. Uh, drop the cargo landing pads for now. Those bots should be on their way back. Fantastic. I don't think any of the others are requesting... Cargo landing pads. Um, now that we've got that sorted out, once the bots hop back in, uh, I would like our construction spiders to begin their long trek to upgrade our solar panels. And I would just run an upgrade planner over it, but it's going to include all of the accumulators that we can't upgrade just yet. So let's do... let's go a little bit more specific, just the flat solar panels. Uh, that's a lot. That... that really is a lot. 8.4 thousand flat solar panels are about to get doubled in power. Fantastic. Obviously, it's not all going to happen in one trip. Alright. So what are we doing up here that made me want to launch more rockets up here? Uh, I think it was the cargo rocket sections and space capsules. So we've named our uh, cargo landing pads accordingly. Uh, let's see. Nervous Orbit. Nervous Orbit. Uh, Cargo Rocket Section. Launch on Cargo Fault. And... Nervous Orbit Space Capsule Launch on Cargo Full. That is the one with the Space Capsules, right? Yes and no. I didn't set up the filters yet. Even though I remembered the station name. And the requests. Uh, but what I did forget as well, apart from this... I love that Mexican wave. Doesn't take very long with cargo rocket sections though, does it? Uh, let's name this one. Cargo rocket section... Requester. Wait, is there another train on the way? No, that's going to depot. That one is actually on the way. 
It seems to already have the correct station name, though. I think it only matters if the train is actually on the way to this station, perhaps. Okay. Um... Yeah, the only trouble with this is I haven't actually set up... Uh... long trains to pick up space capsules. So in this instance, we could probably just get rid of most of these. And I just realized I've gone and sent my spiders away. So let's extend that robo network again. And we'll just bring this down here somewhere. Put it somewhere that looks a bit more consistent somehow. So there's now a small train on the way with the cargo rocket set. One capsule! That is not... Oh, it's picking it up from this network. And that's a higher priority. That makes sense. Okay. Um, that's not like... That's almost the same distance. That actually is as close as it's going to get. Fantastic. Our hero bringing us our one space capsule. Yeah, Adam. Fantastic. Uh, in the not too distant future, we'll have. Oh. Apparently we've already got a train picking it up from here, but it might be going to a different stop. That for some reason is called Ve Vexus. Might have to correct that as soon as there isn't a train trying to park in it. And Wibel 4. I think I saved the train stop names to the blueprint as well. Rip. Okay. How close is this to... Wow. Already full. That didn't take very long. So, launch on cargo full. Nalvis orbit cargo rocket section... Uh, Nalvis Orbit Cargo Rocket Section. I, it is empty. I don't know why it's not... Oh, there probably isn't fuel yet. I think that was the one thing remaining. There's actually no fuel in this particular cargo rocket just yet. Alright, that's fine. It's filling up all of the others first. Now then, I just want to double check, and for the sake of uh, the audience, um, our pickup stations for these cargo rocket sections are super low priority, because we want to go through the recycled cargo rocket sections from other launches before we uh, use these ones. And the same is going to apply to our uh, space capsules. Cool. Now then. I can't actually remember what we wanted to do after that. Looks like scrap processing is still moving along. Although we are 
dangerously full again with iron. Oh, we actually need those capsules. That's probably why I was working on them last. We've got the fuel and we've got plenty of resources here. We just need to... Um, we just need to uh, actually build the rockets. Okay, cool. So where were we in terms of expanding the base up here? Uh, I believe we've done most of what we need to do, if not basically everything with this block. We just need some prerequisites. We need a block for coolant, which, uh, not gonna lie, might be a bit scary. And we need blank data cards as well. Blank data cards require... Polished data storage substrate. We can't do that on the ground, I believe. So we're going to need a block doing some of this, and then some of this. If not two blocks, I don't know. I think we should probably ratio, like, one block to have a bit of this and a bit of this. And if we ever need another one, that's what's great about blocks. You just copy-paste them. So, we've already got rough data storage substrates coming up from a cargo rocket. We can just make another one of these landing pads. Which means we need to make another block like this. Um, may as well do four of these together. Let's head on down. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I like to see the scrap moving because it tells me that the solar panels are getting done. Fantastic. Did I actually connect those robo networks? I did not. Is it a good idea? Maybe not. Then again, maybe it is. Um, there's a lot of stuff to dismantle and salvage here. Including a laser facility just sitting around. Okay. We got our scaffolding here. Let's bring it over here as well. Blueprint. Uh, space. Space block landing pads. One and two. Oh, I should have waited for the scaffolding first. That is a lot of bots. So these ones are green, which are probably mine, and the rest of these are like a cyan color. Belonging to the other Spidertrons. I thought when I looked at the map down here, the bots I saw were green as well, though. Let's see. Just get you to move over here. Apparently the bots aren't... oh, wait. Yeah, they're cyan colored. Okay. Um, but yeah, if I do lots of little clicks and if I have the spiders go back and forth, the bots will be able to catch up with them again. We'll get more of these built without uh, going to the trouble of manually stopping and starting. 
think we need some more scaffolding. Let's go grab that. And I think I might just dedicate a big space over here. Uh, I don't know, actually. It, it, it's... There are limits to the train traffic. Uh, it is good to try and keep certain resources closer to the things that are going to use them. But on the other hand, it would be nice and organized looking if most of these were together, I suppose. For now, we've actually got all of these resources in more or less the same place. If we become too dependent on just those... Uh, then the traffic's going to get a bit bad, I think. But the nice thing about building these blocks in space is you can always just add another cargo landing pad for um, for whatever resource so that the trains can have shorter trips and not get in each other's way. So I suppose there's really no need to worry about it as long as we don't put like too many production areas that rely on launches uh, super close to each other. Yeah, that should be no big deal, actually. Okay. Why am I carrying a million packed cargo rocket sections? I think I went up here to pick some of them up. And here I was considering having the bots ferry them all the way down here. But I think if I connect these robo networks, there might just be chaos. As there's like a million requests. Uh, that I'll have forgotten about. Alright, let's finish off this scaffolding. Drop our blueprint. And we need to pick up some of those cargo landing pads. We've actually got eight of them already. Fantastic. go our bots. Not quite what I had in mind. Drive by building. Okay. Can we please focus on the scaffolding so that I can place the blueprint down again? Oh, it's done? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Alright. Uh, space exploration, space block landing pads, uh, go here. Fantastic. Looks like we've placed everything here except for, well, except for an arithmetic combinator on top of the cargo landing pads I was going to mention. Alright, what's happening on Nalvis right now? Let's get our spiders uh, back in motion. Uh, group one. Group two. And 
and I'll just have group 2 follow group 1 for now. Make it a bit easier. There might already be more expansions that we're not aware of. Yeah. Probably just steamroll that one. Alright, I think at that point we should probably check their ammo. Oh, what's happening with our bots? They are very upset with spider number one, it seems. Yes, indeed. I may have asked a little too much of them, or at least a little too much of the batteries that I included in these spiders. Alright, let's head back. And I'll go grab the cargo landing pads myself. Right then. Uh, so what's our next... We want to... We know we're going to need a rough data storage substrate uh, delivery. I'd kind of like to have... If I can... The shortest possible path... You know, if I'd had this one be the pickup and this one was the short train picking up everything else, I could actually have had a uh, train picks up a resource from here and then goes directly here very, very easily. Um, for the shortest possible trip. Oh well. So what is the shortest trip? Uh, I guess... From here down this way, maybe? I don't think I've actually got any of this rail on me. Uh, also... We will need scaffolding all over the place here. Or at least it will be a luxury. I've drifted too far. Let's get our spiders. Actually, maybe we should give our spiders a little rest. Give 
in which case I should come and pick up some rail and scaffolding and stuff. If I stop drifting faster than my bots can keep up with, that is. Alright, what's happening on Nalvis meanwhile? Spiders are still in transit. Uh, construction spiders. Missed some of the flat solar panels still. Or maybe they ran out. Nope, not just yet. Apparently there are a couple of missing accumulators. Uh, yeah, they have run out of flat solar panels. Okay, cool. Let's send you all the way back. Do you actually have... No, not quite a straight line to the mall, but pretty close. And then... Oh, I didn't even know I had any... I don't think I did have any scaffolding. Let's go pick some of that up, shall we? Maybe some rail as well. You, you can only make space rail in space, right? Yeah, okay. And you need the energy catalog, which is going to be a lot easier once we've done the energy one science in the rail network. Okay. Uh, I will take some of that and some of that, please. And head back down here. All right. I forgot I left these, uh, how you say, deconstruction slash landfill spiders over here. Let's send them back to the old base. Coal mine's getting small. Wait, did we set this up properly? We did not. It's probably been getting dumped. Uh, I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be... Yep, encoded network ID 2 for... for when we pick up from a mine. That way it can go somewhere useful, or it can go into storage, but it'll never go straight to this place, actually. Let's just send it to the depot, and that'll get recycled. Well, seems we've run out of scaffolding. Let's do the rail, at least. Spiders are almost finished. Well, I wouldn't say the bots have almost finished recharging. We've just got most of them back into this one spider. Um, the actual batteries and the Robopot batteries in the spider are not looking so good. What are we trying to make here? Oh. Cargo landing pads, right. Fair enough. Do we have everything we need? Uh, the trouble is... What are we missing here? Radars. But there are radars in here. Oh, you're just shoveling other resources in, still. Okay. I do wish you could uh, tell the inserters to just 
fill out what it takes for one recipe instead of like two or three times. Whoa, where are we? Oh, oh goodness, we're lost in space. Let's, uh, let's go back. Oh my god. Poor bots. Group hug. Uh, come on, stop. Stop moving. There we go. Alright. Back to the salt mines. Uh, how are our spiders doing? They are okay. Let's bring you down here. And park myself about here. Construction spiders are still on their way back. I thought we had our military spiders here for a second there, but that's actually just revealed by the artillery. It is chipping away a little bit. But it's got way too much work to do by itself. Uh, and that's not... I say itself, it's actually uh, 14 of these, which is enough to bottleneck on uh, heavy girder production, I believe. If not the half belt of heavy girders that I set this up for initially. Fantastic. Um, I'm a little torn between... Doing the fluids might be easier first. This would probably be a great place for it because it's like closer to the fluid pickups that we already have. The thermofluids, that is. What do we actually need for thermofluid? Let's see. Heavy oil. Cosmic water. Sulfur. We don't have sulfur in the rail network. That's a little bit of a pain. We do have water and petroleum, though, I believe. Except... When we have a proper oil production block. We're going to have sulfur available for pickup from there. Uh, not dissimilar to what we've got here. I should probably just copy our coal liquefaction uh, that we've already got. Although, I don't think we need the steam engines. Oh, right. No, we can't copy the coal liquefaction because we can't use oil refineries or chemical plants in space. So that's another prerequisite. That's a lot of flickering. What's going on? That can't be good for UPS. This is supposed to cause some latch-like behavior, but it doesn't seem to be working properly. Let's see what we did here. So, output 5000. This green wire touches all of the fluid. So we have a grand total of everything. Uh, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, output one heavy oil goes to here. Same thing for light over petroleum. So we pretend we've got 5,000 extra of heavy oil if it's more than light oil. And then we use that power switch saying heavy oil has to be greater than light. 
light oil has to be greater than petroleum. You would think that would avoid a state of flickering, but apparently not, although it seems to have settled down for now. Something to consider. But yeah, I think... It might be a challenge to fit it all with those... Well, it's not a matter of fit uh, how much we can... F it's not a matter of can we fit it, it's how much we can fit and can we make it a decent ratio with these giant machines. Uh, but yeah, unless... I could send sulfur up in a rocket. That might actually be the easier solution. We're going to want a coal liquefaction block in space anyway. Um, we could have plastic, explosives, and sulfur, as well as the fluids available for pickup from there, but then they couldn't benefit from productivity modules. So, I think... Not only that, but at this point it would actually just be easier to send the solids up by rocket. So I think we'll just use coal liquefaction in space to get our fluids because it's way more cargo efficient than barrels. But as for the rest, sulfur also can't benefit well all of this stuff in space can't benefit from productivity bonuses yeah i think that's decided i th i think we're gonna have uh, i think we already did plastic actually plastic is here i don't think we did explosives yet um and we definitely didn't do sulfur So we'll bring sulfur up by cargo rocket. That just leaves iron copper we've already got, cosmic water we've got, heavy oil we've got. And then converting it to the other temperatures is literally just a matter of time and electricity. Uh, same goes for making the negative 100. So it actually should be fairly easy to make a decent train block for this. Uh, step one is add sulfur to our rocket network, let's call it. We'll do it up here. I'm pretty sure none of these are available. No. Okay. This is still fairly close to coal liquefaction, so I guess it's not too bad to pick up sulfur from here. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. And that goes here. Sulfur requester. And it's 25,000, isn't it? Stack size 50, 25 is 500 stacks, 25k that is. So 25,000, sulfur requester, set filters, belt goes to the correct rocket, and we need a target. Uh, 
It doesn't need that much sulfur, does it? Literally one per ten thermofluid. I don't think it's going to matter too much uh, where we put it. But I kind of want to put our first thermofluid block next to our first uh, science thingy that needs it. Should put some symbols next to these. So we know what's what. So this is the wavy one, polarization data. Uh, zappy data goes here. Nuclear goes here. Polarization data. And last but not least, must be electromagnetic. Oh, there's more detail on these icons than I realized. That makes sense. Alright, cool. After all that, I don't particularly feel like building this block first. Let's bring our spiders back for our scaffolding. And I think... I think, I think... This block will make as much sense as anywhere. Uh, for the sulfur. Blacklist this one. Sulfur goes here. And... Sulfur provider. Priority is neutral. This one's already... Wait, what? Shouldn't there already be bots here? Total construction bots, read logistic network contents. Negative 75 construction bots, constant combinator is switched on. Short trains. Yeah, there definitely should be bots here by now. It worked with the other blocks. Maybe there's too many other rail jobs over here? No, this is the pickup for the short trains from the logistic network here. So, what's going on? Uh, we've only got like two short trains that might have something to do with it. Although, this one is just sitting there ready to go. Um, where did I put my trains? The locomotives, I mean. Don't tell me we used all the locomotives. I'm sure I sent all of these up with ratios in mind. I guess it would make sense, actually, to... add some locomotives to the requests here. Let's just go to four of these and four of these. So we've got the resources, or we will have the resources handy uh, to make any one train. Although I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing those requests get set with the crafting, with the recipe here for some reason. Okay, the crafting combinator is working because it just removed that recipe. So what's going on? Hope it's been a good day slash stream so far. Yeah, not too bad. Cargo rocket launched. Which one? The cargo rocket section rocket? Yes, indeed. It's actually already 
surprisingly empty. 168 plus 109. I guess we had a lot of cargo rocket sections to put over here. Oh. I set this one up to only use short trains. But I think I set these? Where, are, where is it? I think I set these to accept short trains. Yeah, I did. Okay. We need more short trains. So what's going on with our... Oh, maybe we've already got the locomotives. I should uh, do some requests. There's your not problem. Okay. Uh, now that I think about it, it's probably not a bad idea to put a gantry here to put trains into the network. Um, I'll just put this here for the moment. Actually, this is already in range of... No, that's not going to work. Okay. Request a chest goes here, and... I actually need... I actually need to check... Uh, where the locomotives are. For this build. So, it's going to need to be... I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, whether the logistic train stop output... If we put a wagon or something here... I'm not seeing a signal coming from the train stop output telling us, like, the shape of this train. I think it has to, like, arrive at this station. So that's not going to work that well, actually. So what I was thinking about was... Having a place where we could have the bots build the trains... That's going to check where the locomotives are to put fuel in them. But I think for now I'll just... Uh, throw them in here manually. Trains only. And go to depot. I could always just make a couple of, like one long, one short, a couple of gantries to put the trains in. Might be easier. Okay. Quest, uh... And that goes here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, good. And here. Where are my inserters? I've actually got burners here. Uh, let's not do that, since energy is so abundant. Substations... And request some rocket fuel. Fantastic. Right then. 
so now we can just put this here. Don't have to keep these in our inventory. And we can make new small trains at will. Uh, I might just do that blueprint again though. Hmm. I think I'll just symbolize it with, the, with one cargo wagon. Short train. And nothing else. Um, I'll drop that in LTN. And next. Where you go. I'll do a couple more. Alright, that should just about do it. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, off you go as well. And hopefully... We should see bots and repair packs delivered here in the not too distant future. It hasn't? This one doesn't have them either. Oh, wait, I realize... Uh, I, I just figured it out. This is all one robo-network. That's the non-problem here. So, all of these stations... It, it's built as a single cell, but... Um, we're asking the robo port about how many construction bots and repair packs we have. So, if these are all next to each other and it's one big network, um, we don't actually, we don't actually need these stations for most of these. My favorite one. <laughs> okay, uh, good to know that's all working and now we have a few extra small trains, I guess. Spider bots should be a bit better recharged now. Let's check on Nalvis. Uh, seems our spiders have done their thing. They've actually still got quite a lot of rockets. So let's get them to keep going. And let's not underestimate this giant biter base. Okay. Um I kind of want him to go back up through this way, but it might be a bit much ammo-wise. I'll have him clear out this one, and then we'll see how it how it looks. Big circle, just to make sure there's not a worm sitting next to them after they park. And we might actually have enough scaffolding this time. Or not. Alright, let's send our spiders back for more. And 
start looking at how we're going to design our thermo fluid block. So, thermo fluid. We could use cryonite. That makes 20. Why do we need cryonite to make 25 degree thermo fluid though? That is a lot less of a logistical headache, and it does include two of the same. It uses more cosmic water, though. Uh, less heavy oil. Ten and ten. Uh, cosmic water is relatively cheap, if I understand. Um, it's literally just 1% lubricant. No, this makes only 10. Okay, so it's like... One lubricant becomes 10 cosmic water, and the rest is obviously water. Um, and lubricant and heavy oil is just one to one. So... This is kind of like... Uh... So the shorthand is one heavy oil becomes ten cosmic water. So that's like five and a half heavy oil plus one cryonite rod. Versus twenty and a bit plus sulfur plus copper plus iron. I think I know which sounds better, and those are the only recipes we've got for the initial 25 degree thermo fluid, I think. So yeah, since we can just send up crinite rods by rocket, this is going to be way easier. Um, and just to double check again. The next step after that is literally just time, space, and electricity. Okay. Um, I suspect even a couple of these machines is going to be, like, super overkill. Like, possibly even for the entire base at this rate. So we'll do like two or four of these and then probably use the rest of the space um, for... Well, I don't know exactly what the ratio is going to look like, but based on our experience so far, it's way more difficult to get enough um, negative 100 degree cold thermofluid than anything else. Although it looks like... Did I actually calculate a ratio for these? Thermo fluid 25 degrees. That comes out of here. That's like a... Sort of like a waste product. Uh, cold thermo 26. Cool thermo... Wait, what? Oh, that's negative 10, that's negative 100. Okay, so this is 26 per second. Uh, net consumption of 68. If that's the case, then why do we always have... Because we hardly ever consume 10 degree cold thermofluid directly, that's why. It's always... It's pretty much always cold thermofluid. Let's have a look if I rate calculate this entire thing. Uh, how much negative 10 degree thermofluid do we consume? That is... It's actually net positive for the whole thing. Except I'm not seeing plus and minus here at all. Wait, is there nothing? 
That can't be right. Um, I'm pretty sure we consume negative 10 degree thermo fluid here somewhere. No, we don't. It all comes in as negative 25. And this spits out negative 10. And then we have to convert it. So, so far, if I understand correctly, if I didn't miss anything, we literally have nothing that consumes negative 10 degree thermofluid, except to turn it into negative 100. Um... So I guess we're just going to ratio this so that we produce a bunch of uh, 25 degree thermofluid, we limit it so that storage is never totally full. Um, in fact, we should probably set it up so that trains come back to here with the negative, with the 25 degree thermofluid. Um, so if anything, just like with this base here, a couple of these will probably make a token effort and easily make basically all the 25 degree thermofluid we ever need. And then we need to pretty much make 100 degree thermofluid as fast as we can, but we'll ratio it so that we get a slight net positive of negative 10, just in case I'm wrong. Okay. And I think we have thermal radiated 2. That's not too hard to make. Beryllium, cryonite, thermal radiator. We have to make thermal radiators first. That's a little bit of a pain. Um... I doubt we've got everything we need to do that with the autocrafters already. Uh, but let's find out. We need space pipe. Uh, I think we've got big electric motors, I'm not sure. I don't think we do, actually, um, but I think we made a... We may have actually made a rocket to send up big electric motors already. I could be wrong about that. If I am wrong about that, it's going to be easy to set it up anyway. That's the beauty of this modular system. Oh, there it is. That's like the first block we ever did. I don't remember where... Oh. It's all manual. Cool. So all we have to do is give it a target. Let's do that now. Hey, Doga. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I should also... put a label on this. Okay, so sulfur... Nervous Orbit, Sulfur, it is S-U-L-F-U-R, yep. Uh, what was the other one I was doing? Big electric motors, in no particular, whoops, 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 and, oh, whoops. Big electric motor. And this one is blacklist. Then we set the filter on this storage chest. Just in case there's a crash. That's the only reason there's bots here at all. Uh, did we set this for sulfur? Yes, we did. Nervous orbit. 
pink electric victoria. That is our naming convention, right? Yes. Alright, cool. And... Okay. Novice Orbit Big Electric Motor. Launch on cargo full. And away we go. Um, next we need sulfur. I did... Yeah, I did set it up. Okay, cool. Just haven't given it its target yet. Uh, Novice Orbit, please. Novice Orbit Sulfur. Launch trigger, cargo full. And away we go. Fantastic. Oh, and here comes our big electric motors. I remember when we first got into space, um, having sufficient big electric motors was like one of the biggest headaches. Now we just casually send up 25,000. Feels nice. Okay. Uh, so we've got big electric motors, we've got sulfur, I can't even remember. Oh, that's right. We needed the big electric motors to actually make... Um, Uh, to make some thermal radiators. We've got pumps already. I don't remember automating them here, though. Oh, yes, they, yes, I did. And we've also got everything else already. Although, space pipe... I don't recall automating space pipe. Let's uh, make sure we do that as well. I'll move this for now. Space pipe, let's say a thousand. A um, couple of stacks of each of these. Fantastic. Uh, what about space belt? It does require lubricant, but we can pipe that in here pretty easily. Um, and I'm pretty sure of all of the things that we're going to make in a model, lubricant is going to be just about the only fluid we ever need. But uh, failing that, we can probably actually have... Well, we can have up to six different fluids going into these theoretically, although obviously with the layout we've got, three would be preferable. Um, plastic, you say? Are we requesting plastic? How did we even get plastic here? Plastic. 2000. I don't think it's on its way that quickly, is it? No, definitely not. Okay. Should probably send these up by rocket already. Since we're just sending one thing after another with easy copy-pastes. Right then. Uh, spiders, come back here, please. And... We are going to go for the cryonite build to make the thermofluid. So two fluids and one physical input. That's going to be pretty easy to deal with.
Oops. And this one goes here. Uh, I want to copy that blue quester color. And this one's going to be cryonite. Oops. Plus, let's see, cosmic water. Put all the blue things on this side. And on this side, heavy oil. Uh, storage tanks. Need some space pipe. And don't forget the pumps, actually. Substation, go burr. Same thing on this side. We're going to need, like, hardly any throughput for the cryonite, I'm guessing. One every five seconds, except it's a space manufacturing. Uh, so let's drop a couple of those. Um, actually, oh, here we go. Do the spiders have the space manufacturers? They do. Fantastic. And I believe... Oh, I'm already carrying 15 hypercoolers. Oh, 14. That's good. Uh, we're going to need those... How you say... Thermal reactors, though. I'll let them finish with the space pipes first, though, I think. Uh, I need plastic and copper cable to be in our frequently requested things. Copper cable, 2,000. Plastic, 1,000. Wait. That one was supposed to be playing robot frames, or no? Uh, we can just add flying robot frames to that one. Alright, that should speed things up here. Oh. Might not be the best thing to have the slow inserters in this instance. We did do that for a reason, but uh, that is definitely not what we're looking for. If you're interested, there's a new mod for tracking rocket launches. It's called Rocket Log. That might be good. Good to see you again, Mass. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, speedy speed. Uh, Ryanite based thermo fluid. So, if we just do two or four of these, what's our rate? Minimum consumption for this is actually only 66 kilowatts for this gigantic monstrosity. So there's really no harm in just overdoing this. Uh, 13 cryonite rods per second. And this makes 136 thermofluid per second. I have a strong suspicion that that's going to be more than enough for, like, most of the entire base that we ever make. But I might just leave room in case I'm wrong. Um, let's figure out how this is going to fit together. The only f output is fluid. Fantastic. Um, 
Unfortunately, we can't do a three crisscross. If I do this, I guess I'll just do it like that. Wait, what would the rate be from this? Um, that's way less than what fits through a pipe, no worries. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over for now. And... I don't think there's a universe where we need, like, more than one belt of cryonite coming into all this. Uh, so... Let's do... Uh, this one. Although the only trouble with that is it has the output go all to one place. Um, how should we get our one belt to all of these? Maybe you should split this up. Oops. Space belt. Uh, where are my inserters? That's probably fine, actually. And then we just need to leave enough room for the input pipes. So this one's going to be... Uh, cosmic water. I think I already did a layout for pipes like this before. It's not quite the same. Let's see how we go. Uh... If we do it like this... And then... That won't do. That's actually a perfect fit. Alright, so cosmic water, heavy oil... Uh, that's the other way around. Which is fine, I suppose. How long should this be? Nine plus nine plus one plus two plus two. Or how about a couple of fifteens? That works. Now we just trim this bit on the end because I don't like the look of it. Oh, we can't. Eh, I guess it's fine to leave it like that. Yeah, if I'm going to leave that one sticking out, we'll leave that one like so. Okay. Uh, this is supposed to be cryonite. Oops. Uh, that just barely doesn't reach, which is a little sad. I could maybe the inserters over there, but I feel like that would look tacky. Or we could do underground pipe here. Might look less bad. I 
I can probably live with that. I do like that we've now got one substation supporting all of these. Um, max rate. 27 cryonite rods per second. Uh, maybe upgrade these. To be sure. Okay, so we need to... Of course these pipes would just barely not line up very well. How about we do this and... Not this. This goes here. Does this look better? Maybe. And then we just need the heavy oil uh, to come in this way. I think some long pipes make the most sense here. Maybe not that long. Okay, maybe even shorter than that. Um, alright. So that's our 25 degree thermo fluid. Uh... 272 per second. Actually, if we're going to try to make as much negative 100 degree as possible, so this uses, this actually produces 26 per second, but, hmm. Oh, I need to pick up those thermo thingies. We're still doing the space pipe. Seems like we've used up all of our steel. Um, that is suboptimal. Bringing in more plastic. Did I not set this up so that we could use long trains as well? I just made the requests too small. Okay, in that case... Let's bump these up a bit. Since we're bottlenecking on bringing in short trains instead of long. Just got to make sure we have more storage. Oh, and I should probably make the request stack threshold a bit higher. Maybe. Uh, it depends what we're bringing in, though. Um, what resource were we waiting for? Steel. Could probably bump the... The train limit is already three, but I only ever see one coming in at a time. Okay. How many space pipes do we have here? 500 of the undergrounds. I see zero regular space pipes. So it's all getting consumed. Uh, this is fine in the long run, but maybe I was a bit too greedy. We've got a hundred threes, a hundred fives. We're on the sevens now. Looks like we don't have any yet. Oh, we've got hardly any. Okay. Let's just turn off the request for the space pipes for now. Except they are a prerequisite for this, which is why I was doing them. Um, why don't we temporarily add a hundred here? Uh, 
For all its little quirks, I am really liking the auto crafter. Do you set up automatic crafting of missing resources? Do you dynamically set the recipes on the assemblers? Uh, Tobede, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't set up any strict, deliberate produ uh, production of prerequisites uh, before we try to craft one thing or another here. Uh, so far, with I've been able to get by with just two machines for that, but one of the reasons it can be a bit erratic switching recipes around, um, I've kind of deliberately used the way this is really, really, really fast for a sort of latch behavior, because, for example, uh... Is it the thermodynamics facility? Yeah, it is. Thermodynamics facilities require electric furnaces, which require steel furnaces, which require stone furnaces. Um, I actually just set a request for one of each of these. But by the time everything's set up so that we shovel resources into this machine, um, it makes like five to ten of them before... That's one of the reasons these are actually slow inserters. I'm surprised we don't have stack inserters here, though. Um, this actually makes several of those before it switches over, so that way we can... you know... make a few steel furnaces before it goes, wait, there are no stone furnaces, and switches back to that. Um, a lot of the time we're relying on the ordering of the, the arbitrary ordering of signals, um, where it, whereby it picks out one thing that we're going to try to make out of everything, uh, here. But it does, it's not always in our favor. There's a couple of things we can do about that. We can have, like, a dozen assemblers uh, set to make whatever recipes we're trying to get done right now. I have thought about ways that we can, you know, try to make sure we have between 50 to 100 small iron electric poles so that we can start making the medium poles and it won't just switch back all the time, back and forth, making small iron electric poles, for example. Um, I haven't come up with a solution that doesn't require, like, a combinator or two per resource at the minimum. And that's if you're only looking at, like, one dependency. So that's why, for now at least, we're just sticking with this janky thing. Which does get the job done, but when you're in a hurry to make, like, thousands and thousands of pipe, for example. Or rather, you want it to make thermal radiators, but you also want to have a request for thousands of pipe. These pipes arbitrarily come before the thermal radiators. Which is good when thermal radiators, radiators require space pipe, for example. Uh, we do have a few instances where it's definitely better to have some dedicated machines for certain prerequisites. Or just have them delivered. Uh, if you have the auto crafters trying to make things like wire, for example, that's a really good example of where it's going to just keep switching back and forth between the recipes too much. Um, but yeah, the point of this was so that we could make uh, the tier 2 thermal radiators that are twice as fast and relatively... They actually consume the same amount of power and they produce the same amount of pollution. Not that we have to worry about pollution in space. Okay, uh, let's see how this goes. We 
we need Trinite Rod, Beryllium Plate, and Thermal Reactor. I think we've got everything but the Cryonite Rods. Uh, which I was meaning to add to our rail network right about now. We haven't already done that, right? No. Everything's in order of when you put the names in. Nervous Orbit, Cryonite, what? Did I spell that right? I think I did. Set this one to Blacklist. Set this one to Cryonite Rod. And change the name of this station. Cryonite Rod Provider. Okay. Uh, and then we need to do it on the ground. Let's add our icon first. I just want to be absolutely sure we haven't already done a cryonite rod rocket. I don't think we have. We're good. Even if we did, it wouldn't be that harmful. Uh, so, this tracks back to here. Cryonite rod. Cryonite rod requester. And it stacks to 100, I think. So we're looking for 50,000? Yeah, I think I distinctly remember bringing 50,000 cryonite rods back from uh, our first trip to the moon. There we go. Cool. So we should have cryonite rods arriving here before we know it. Uh, of course, first I would have to set up a uh, pickup. Already named the station. We need to remember to tell LTN what's already here. And... Friday night rod, let's say two train loads. Um, although that's probably overkill. Let's just do like one and a half. And considering the max consumption is like 30 per second. Uh, the other one was cosmic water. Just slightly more than one train load. That is 12,000, which is less than 120,000. There we go. Uh, since we're doing a fluid, we also need to set a regular provide threshold. Okay, cool. Uh, so if I haven't forgotten anything, we may already have everything set up to bring the cryonite rods here. They are ghost items. It's from the navigation satellite view of space exploration. How come your inventory says you can craft infinite? Yep, that's the satellite view. So I don't actually have these items at all. It's just for... Uh, just for placing ghosts. Very handy for planning. Uh, let's double check that cryonite rod setup. I don't see them arriving here yet. Here we go. 16k. Cryonite rods. Fantastic. Did I set this to launch? I did not. Uh, so, Nalvis Orbit. 
Nelvis Orbit Crinate Rod. Launch on cargo full. And that should be that. Uh, this implies we already have the sulfur in orbit. Fantastic. Delicious, sweet smelling sulfur all over the belts. Um, wait a sec, wasn't I bringing up sulfur because it was needed for... For the other thermofluid recipe? <laughs> well... Now we've got sulfur in the network, just in case. Uh, I'm sure we'll need it eventually, right? Right? Even though so far the only thing it's been needed for was thermofluid. Alright, how's our progress for... Oh, of course, we don't have cryonite rods yet. I also need to remember to request them here. Cryonite rod, 16k. Um, should be fine. How's our storage looking? I wish there was a... There might be. Do you need a mod to tell you exactly how much logistic storage space is left? Or no? Still sending short trains as a priority. We do have plenty of long trains. How much copper do we have? 15k, that's why. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Uh, let's bring our spiders up where they can reach. To place those pipes. Uh, I could have the autocrafter make inserters, but that tends to be a headache. Especially if we've got only two. That's actually a really good example of why you would want a lot of machines crafting in parallel. Uh, let's see. If I just temporarily bump up our request for inserters here, you can kind of get the picture of how, if it wasn't set up like this, you'd just be making the burners, and then you'd switch over to the yellows, and then you'd only have the burners... Uh, You'd run out of the burners, the circuit would switch it back to burners, and so on and so forth. Um. This actually sort of works much more effectively when you've already got a stock of all of the inserters. I mean... It makes sense. I wonder if there would be a way to try to, like, avoid going below a certain number. It's not like we could avoid having the bots making things available to the player or spiders or something. Uh, we are quite low-ish on rockets. Some of these have, like, I think I saw a hundred and something somewhere. 313... Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. But it is time to go home, even if we take the scenic route. I think this will probably be okay. Let's not get stuck on some water. That was probably a long zigzag. Not too long, rather. Uh, let's have a look. So the front one is obviously out of ammo. 
but I th think they can get through that pretty easily as a group. Right then. Do we have our cryonite? That's not cryonite. Big electric motors and cryonite rods. That's slush. There we go. Don't think I put anything here yet. Nope. Let's check on the launcher. Fantastic. Won't be long now. Uh, we are trying to make thermal radiators, we just don't have the cryonite rods. Or apparently the beryllium plate, it would probably help if I requested those. Uh, what does beryllium plate stack to? 200? Wow. Okay. Um... I don't know that we're going to need that much of it. Let's just do a short train's worth for beryllium plate. And what else we got going on? Let's have our spiders pick up scaffolding. And bring it over here. How's my life support? Uh, we've only got ten and a half hours left. Okay. Bear that in mind. Spooters. And nowhere near as bad ammo-wise as I thought at first. Fantastic. Alright then. Why am I carrying a space capsule right now? Let's drop it off. Space capsule goes here. Oh, and we actually need it. Oh, of course, because it's going to take ages before we have a rocket launch for space capsules. How's that actually looking at this point? We have... Wow. We already have 305 space capsules waiting. Um, I might just trigger this launch early. I'm guessing by now... Yep, there go the rocket control units, which are going to be probably the main bottleneck uh, for spamming more space capsules. Although, it actually looks like... Okay, yeah, it is... The rocket control units are empty right now. We are picking up some more as we speak. I wonder if the trains can even keep up. How many are we requesting? Two train loads. We could fit three in a bit, but I don't like to tempt LTN to overfill it. I'm very curious to see... Nope. We ran out. Oh, it's rocket fuel, actually. Which we haven't run out of. So it seems like we can basically keep this thing going more or less continuously. Let's round it down. We're looking at like 0.2, maybe 0.15 space capsules per second. So call it one every 10 seconds. Um, 
5,000 seconds. Uh, 83 minutes before we send an entire cargo rocket full of space capsules up here. That's actually really fast, considering that it's space capsules that we're talking about. But I will be slightly inefficient and send one of these up early. Uh, partly because if we're not sending this copper and iron and stone back, uh, it's it could block the scrap recycling, which will block our flat solar panel production. Although that itself is bottlenecked on chemical gel anyway, so maybe I was just being impatient. It's fine. 300 rocket launches will take at least five minutes. Alright, so what else are we doing right now? Um, spiders actually still need more stuff. Let's get them to place the rail at least. Is the CPU the bottleneck for Factorio to run at higher than 30 UPS for you? What kind of CPU do you have? The spider's really struggling. Yeah, the, uh... I believe it's RAM, and I'm actually picking up some RAM quite soon. I've already ordered a new monitor along with some RAM. Um, so within the next few days we should see a difference. I'm very interested to see exactly how much of a difference it makes. Uh, speaking of performance, apparently we've dropped like 6.5% of our frames. Uh, has there been any issues with the stream? Or I did drop... oh god. I, I did drop the uh, the bitrate down a bit, but it's dropping even below the lower target that I set earlier. Lovely. RAM, interesting. I'll probably freak out by how fast everything suddenly is. I hope so. Uh, my motherboard won't go that high. It doesn't actually reach 3000 for RAM speed. But, uh... We'll see. Yikes. Okay, there's not much I can do about that. We get all the way down to 2.5k sometimes. Hmm. I have to see if I have any options to do something about the internet connection. We actually had higher upload speeds until I came back from the flooding, so that's encouraging. Oh, and here's our space capsules. Fantastic. And we're ready for another one. Alright. Um, have we made any of these tier 2 radiators yet? We're only trying to make one, so the answer's no. We need Cryonite. Cryonite has not yet arrived, surprisingly. Uh, it looks like... Okay, it's just taking a while to load... 50,000, that's all. Uh, we have no shortage of Cryonite coming in, so I'm not going to be so impatient as to launch this one early. Alright. Um... Well, we can at least design a little bit. Do I have any cryonite? No. 
There's probably some up here, but I don't want to go all the way up here for it. I'll just steal some thermal reactors. And we'll do the complicated math of multiplying things by two as we figure out our rate calculations. Didn't notice any buffering? Really? Okay, that's very encouraging. Thanks for letting me know. It's totally green at the moment. But yeah, for you to tell me that you didn't notice any buffering uh, considering the numbers I was seeing just now, that's actually encouraging. Alright. Um, so we need... I think do we want to do the efficient recipe or so the default recipe is like 50 becomes 49 efficient is way slower and it's 500 becomes 499 and if we want to go fast uh, not 10 becomes 9. That's really significantly less efficient. Um, where's the crafting time? 10 seconds? 1 second? Wow. Oh, but that's like... Let's call it 10. So this takes 10 times as long to do 5 times as much. And this takes 20 times as long to do... 10 times as much. So it's basically doubling or halving the speed to go more or less uh, more or less efficient. Uh, I think I'd like to go for the efficient ones if I can. And what about this? Cryocooling thermofluid to... If we use cryonite slush, it might be a better recipe. We don't need any negative 273 yet, but if we're going to do an entire block for cooling, I would kind of like to have every possible... Um, every fluid temperature set up here in one go, but I have no idea how much of it we're going to need. We could also, we could always make another block in future, and it'd be very easy to uh, alter the design of what we already have, I imagine. So let's just do negative 10 and negative 100 for now. Actually, I want to check something. Do we already have any recipe? Considering we can already make the negative 273. Uh, why can't I find it? Hmm. Okay. Thermofluid. fluid negative 273 goes into what exactly? Astronomic insight. This is Astro Catalog 2. Do we all... Damn it. Do we already have that? Broad Astronomic Catalog. Negative 100, negative 100. Negative 273. As hard as it is to figure out what we need fluid-wise, um, I don't like going into this extra blind for the super-cooled fluids for how much we need, but 
I guess I should just do what I was going to do with the 25, 10, uh, 25, negative 10, and negative 100, and just do that for negative 273 as well. Um, just aim to make as much of the coldest stuff as possible. In this space. The bitrate is noticeable, though. Uh, do you mean, like, the visual quality dips sometimes, or... So it, so it gets, like, blurrier or muddier instead of buffering? Yeah, I actually had to drop the bitrate down to 5k. I was hoping that would be uh, not too noticeable. When you hover over the factory quickly. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think next time, unless and until I can get the upload speed improved, um, I'll probably drop the frame rate then. Okay, so... Uh, hypercool thermoflow to negative 100 degrees. 10 goes to 5 and 5. There's no loss. 20 plus 1 cryonite slush goes to 15 and 5. So we just sacrifice cryonite in order to get more of it turned into cold thermofluid in one go. So we're basically just sacrificing cryonite slush for space and electricity. And we have to deal with the extra logistics of getting the cryonite slush, which needs sulfur plus rod plus biochemical facility. So far it sounds like more trouble than it's worth. Um, we don't even need cryonite slush to to get the negative 273 degrees. It's just one more step, just like the first one. Okay. Um, so let's suppose we're going to do it this way so far. Input is negative 10. Negative 10 comes from here. Output is negative 125. This output is also 25, so these line up nicely. Um, I don't suppose the rate between these two is one to one. It actually is. That makes it a lot easier than I thought this might be. Okay. I do want copious storage. Uh, maybe even just put a pair of tanks between each of these. And then... These have to be two tiles apart. Otherwise we can't get the 25 degree thermo fluid back to where it needs to go. It might even need to be... actually... How close together can we do these? I'd love to just have a ludicrous amount of storage for this. Um... If this goes here, then that doesn't go anywhere. We can't have that any closer. I don't think I do want to do it this way. I'll we'll probably have to use some sevens. 
and we'll just have the storage on the side, maybe. How fast is this going to be? 26 per second. Uh, so we could do like 40, 46 of these in a row before we had any issue with pipe throughput. It's not that bad. Uh, do you think it's better if it's like 30 or 40 something frames and always crisp? Or if it's like this? Um, so how am I going to do these pipes? I don't think we can get away with these being that close to gather. Yes, we can. It's just going to have to be something like this. Also, what's the rate between these? Uh, net positive thermo flow 25 degrees, of course. Hmm. Uh, cold thermo fluid. Wait, which one does this do? Cold thermo fluid negative 10. And this consumes cold thermo fluid negative 10. 52 versus this would be 9. A cylindro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So how many of these, uh, once they're tier 2 thermal radiators, will we need? Actually, I wonder if the tier 2s can fit more speed modules. Do we have any yet? Oh, we do. Uh, so it seems we have everything we need. Fantastic. I don't know how many of these we will require. Let's just churn out like a hundred. Uh, but first... I want to pick up just one of them so we can do our rate calculations easily. I'm on mobile at the moment, but I think crisp looking better in my opinion. Alright. Yeah, I don't know that I need to drop it to 30. I think we'll try whatever the preset is, 40 something, uh, tomorrow. Let's see how that goes. Well, if I'm streaming tomorrow, it depends on when I need to camp out and make sure I pick up my shiny new monitor as soon as it gets here. Um, okay, so... I would like... All of them, please. We've already got 12, nice. All right, let's head back. All right, let's just check on Nalvis real quick. Uh, spiders are chilling. They really are starting to be a little bit low on ammo, so I will send them somewhat directly home. And there you go. Um, 
what about our builds here? We've got full cargo rockets. Fantastic. Almost another full cryonite. Is there anything else I want to send up by cryo rocket anytime soon? Um, I don't think so. I mean, we will need to set up uh, rough data storage substrates over to the block system. But I'm not too worried about that just yet. Okay. So. What do we get? Efficient. We still only get two speed modules. But it is twice as fast now. Wait, that's a regular thermal radiator. The blue ones are the tier two. Okay, we do still only get two speed modules. Um, so how many of these do we need? Negative 10 is looking at uh, 52 per second per hypercooler. So we need, wait, what? Yeah, we need six of these. Okay, how do we fit six per hypercooler elegantly? Um, for starters, I'm going to want pipes like that. all just one fluid in, one fluid out. Wait, what? Maybe we could do it like this? Uh, if we did do it this way, we don't have to connect all of these like so. Means we could get rid of this these long pipes. And we will be needing the 25 degree thermofluid going in like so. Uh, what about this? That's not the way it's going to fit together, actually. Um... I guess if we do that, that's going to have to change. Where are our substations going to fit if we do this? Oh. That's actually kind of perfect. Okay. So that goes not there, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's just barely not enough room to do it this way. I should have realized when we had to put that little pipe in there. Hmm. Okay, let's call that Plan B. Uh, give, give him back. I thought I had twelve of these. That's the tier one. Apparently not. I'll just leave the pipes. So how else can we do this? Uh, we can't do one down the middle. We can fit them like that if we can make this work. Uh, which I'm very dubious about, actually.
very, very dubious about. I could just have a longer row of them, or column if you like, up above. Oh, the spiders are stealing the, um, the tier 2 thermal radiators, that's why. They've probably got requests set to dump them into the logistic trash. We need to fix that. Um, what's one stack of these? 50. Okay. Thermal radiators. Alright. So I'm thinking we just... Was it six? I think it was six. Uh, Thermofluid 25 is net negative, that's fine. Thermo cold thermofluid is very slightly positive. That's what we're looking for. Alright, cool. And obviously this last one won't be a 3B. Um, I think that means... We can possibly line these up like so. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. And we're obviously not going to have trouble finding room for the substations. In fact, that's actually... Kind of a good fit. Okay. So... So these were one-to-one -one with the speed modules in. Perfectly one-to-one, -one, actually. Uh, I'm not going to worry about, like, deliberately overproducing cold thermofluid relative to... Uh, super cooled. We'll just make super cooled the priority and then we get our negative 100 after that. So really it's now just a matter of seeing how much we can fit in this block. Wait, was that to negative 100? Yeah. We need the oh, substation won't go here actually because we need the 25 degrees. Oh, hold on. This is 25 degree thermofluid output, and this is 25 degree thermofluid input. I just happened to line those up perfectly. What even is this pipe supposed to be, so far? Nothing in particular. It was going to be the 25 degree. So, I think... We can move all of these up a tile. That can be a 3B. Uh, this could still go up another tile, or one tile, actually. So 
So yeah, that'll be one, two, three of those. This goes here, this goes here. This is also spitting out negative 25 degree. We've got the same issue with disappearing hyper... No, I'm sure I had the spiders... I did not have the spiders request hypercoolers. Can't search this, can I? Yeah. All I know is it's already taken. There it is. I think these stack to 15 for some reason. Uh, which spider was this? Not that one. That one. Okay. Give them back, please. Okay. Fantastic. Um, substations are still going to be pretty good. Really good, actually. This is not quite right. We obviously don't need quite this many subs. That won't reach, though. Is that an underground? It is. So this should just go here. I really like this layout. So both of those are the same input, right? It's just Cool thermal fluid, negative 10. Yeah. We still need to make cool thermo fluid available to the rail network. Possibly. Um, cool thermo fluid, negative 10 degrees. Junk data card plus cool thermo fluid. Machine learning data. All right, so the answer is yes. Is there any reason to make 25 degree thermo fluid available to the rail network? Doesn't look like it. All right, so that's going to go there. Uh, this is going to go here. Actually, I think I'd like to look at this a little bit better. Or maybe, no, this is 25 degree, it's only going back up. Okay. Cool. Um, I do believe that is our template. Oh, that's not quite reaching. So the only question is 
how are we going to get the negative 10 out to make it available uh, to the network? I guess I could put a pipe like this. I'd have to move all of these down. If I have to move this down more than one tile, I'm going to be sad about the substations. Um, doesn't look like it. Otherwise, we'd have to, like, have a pipe up here where all of these connect. Don't know if that's what I want to do. I would much rather have, like, a series of three long, uh, very similar looking long pipes like this that have our desired outputs. And then we'll have to... Oh wait, that's right, that's right. Uh, it's this one that we'll have to change. Oh. Um. That's a little bit sad. Well, we can easily fit some substations in here anyway. It'll be fine. Is what I will tell myself. As this substation doesn't quite reach the top... Okay, um, so all of this needs to go down one more tile, but if I do that then I need some small pipes connecting these as well, don't love that. Hold on, I could have just not done that and done this. Again. Make the 25 available to the network. Uh, according to FNEI, it doesn't look like 25 degrees is used anywhere except for converting it to other temperatures. Could do local cooling for negative 10? Maybe. Well, the negative 10 is a step towards um towards the others let's see negative 10 negative 10 is used for junk data card recycling and also machine learning data okay I'd like to have the option anyway. Alright, so that is our three desired outputs. Um, now the question is just how many of these can we ram into... Uh, cram into this block, basically. Obviously, if we go horizontal, that alone is going to be a s decent start. That goes there. That goes there. 
Maybe I should just go with that. Check on our um, spiders back at home. They are chilling out. Fantastic. How's our production of space capsules looking? Uh, it's looking upset with us. There's no LDS anymore. That is not something I expected to run out of, although we do still just have the one block that makes LDS, although it has been super overkill for a long time. But obviously you are eventually going to need more than just one. I guess I could go ahead and copy-paste that somewhere. Uh, what does it use? Plastic, copper, steel, and glass. Um... Copper, steel, and glass all come from the Omni smelters. Plastic does come from here. Oh, for some reason I thought that was, um, whole liquefaction. So yeah, right about here would actually be perfect. Uh, for another block to make LDS. Let's just... Copy this, and paste it over here, and I'll do what I should have done before. Oh, I did do that. It's just hard to see. And we'll get our construction spiders to stand here, and it should be almost finished. Uh, as soon as we check back there. Or it might actually be completely finished. Once we look again. Okay. Um. Might be better if we... Substation's sort of in the way. That's a good fit. That'll do. Actually, I think that would probably look cleaner, maybe. And substation here. Now we just need a ludicrous number of thermal radiators and such. I could perhaps also copy some of this up here. I have made it a bit tight. We could always move this down a little bit. Um, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's design the pickup stations. Theoretically, I should be able to use two logistic train stops for... Uh, I was going to say all four. It's actually all three of the fluid pickups. Um, however, if possible, if we have room, I would much rather just not ever risk a circuit or some other weirdness somehow putting the wrong fluid in. Um, so... This goes then, this goes here, and I'm not sure where my signals are, there we go. I think even if I Even if I add a extra station here. That 
should be totally fine. Wait, there's room, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, easily. Yeah, even if I want to move all of this down a bit. So that we can fit even more up the top right if we want to. Um, there should be plenty of room still uh, for fluid wagon pickup stations. Space pipe boobs here. Wire needs to connect all of these. And this one goes here. should be pretty straightforward actually. Um, I could also probably stand to have... Oh, of course these would just uh, continuously not line up. How much space have we got on the sides here? Uh, four and three. That's as symmetrical as it's going to get. We'll start with the easiest connection we can make here. Um, if I put in extra storage, it's going to slow... Th unless I have, like, a pump. Is 200k enough storage for each of these, or should we add more? I think we could just easily add some storage on the side for each, or something. Alright. Should probably aim this at the middle. This one. Not quite. Not quite. Let's try seven and a couple of fives. That's no good. Nothing works. How many tiles is this? Six. So there's actually no correct length of pipe to use for this. To be consistent. This will do. Uh, and then... This doesn't go anywhere. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. Goes all the way down here. How many tunnels is this? Exactly the wrong number. Cool. That will do. I quite like how neat this is, at the very least. Uh, and we could 
fit some more up here. It might be a slight pain to connect all the pipes, but we've got room for expansion if we need it. Alright. Substation... Oh, this block isn't finished. Uh, let's see. Space rail block. And substations. Can't decide which looks better. Actually, shouldn't that reach across? Since there's no inserters and chests in the way. That's fine. And we'll be consistent on the other side. Alright. I think I already set these up. Fantastic. I didn't ask for the heavy oil yet, though. Uh, so, heavy oil requester... Provide thre sorry, request threshold, 100,000. That should be a request threshold. And request stack threshold, 160. Request threshold, 100k. Heavy oil, that much. Okay. And then we just need to do some standard pickups. Uh, we need to tell LT, whoops. We need to tell LTN what's in. Our tanks. And provide step threshold won't do anything. Provide threshold. I'll just make it 25k so the small trains can pick these up. Red wire goes here, here, and here, and station names, this one will be negative 273, uh, if I can find the stuff. Super cool thermofluid provider. Uh, which one's this? This is the negative 100. Provider. And last but not least is negative uh, 10, which I don't think is going to be used too much. Negative 10 provider. Uh, however, we also need to... We also need to have drop-off stations. I, I would like to do this in all, all in one block. We could theoretically have like a storage block for it as well. There goes our cryonite. Um, but I would like to have trains able to come back here to drop off uh, the excess thermofluids, which might turn out to only ever be the 25 degree. 
uh, thermo fluid. Maybe. Hmm. Not quite enough room unless I move these pipes. Um, that's okay. We do have... Okay, so far the only place we've had the negative 10 degree thermofluid as an output, we've been able to turn it into... Uh, negative 100, which we need here, and 25. So... I could always add more train stops here, I guess, but tentatively? Um... Tentatively, we might only need to drop 25 degree thermofluid here. Let's get our spiders to pay this spot a visit. Alright, so if station goes here, train fits pretty easily. Um, if I end up wanting to use the same spot. I could use short trains to drop off the excess fluid. That might be more than enough um, throughput. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually... It's only the third one that sucks. Um, I could always have the trains come off this thing, but I don't always like to do that just because you have to have specific changes in the signals over here which can end up incompatible if like multiple locks touching each other have the same issue with that. Okay, but I think what we're going to do here is... We're going to have storage for 25 degree thermofluid. Um... And we're not going to produce this thermofluid here unless we uh, unless we're running sufficiently low on it I kind of want absolutely ludicrous thermofluid storage to be honest hey Viasha slave good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well of course this wouldn't happen to line up very well about down here somewhere. Nope. So close. Okay. Um, this should probably be high priority. Actually, no. How do I... The only, th the only station requesting 25 degree thermofluid is going to be this one, I think. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh -huh. 
Do the spiders not have a constant combinator? There we go. Uh, quest threshold actually. I probably should. I probably should use small trains to cut the unwanted. Okay, how quickly does this produce 25 degree thermofluid, for example? Uh, 25, 88 per second. Okay, that's actually kind of fast. Uh, never mind, long trains it is. We already set up long trains to pick up the unwanted 25 degree thermofluid here. Yeah, long trains it is. Uh, negative 100k. Five degree thermofluid. And next to that there. Um I don't like that the containers are so far away from this now because I'm trying to think how to set it up so that I guess I could do a big pole over here somewhere no that's not gonna reach um I'll just connect all of these we don't have to know exactly how much is in all of this we just have to know that this room to drop off more thermofluid Um, if we just pump it from here to here to here, actually, no, I think that's gonna still, like, produce a bunch of thermofluid. I think we should probably get rid of this connection. Uh, do what we were going to do originally. Bring it out this way. And we'll pump it into here conditionally. So basically, if 25 degree thermofluid is less than, I don't know, a thousand in all of these containers up here, then we'll take some thermofluid from here. We'll also pump thermofluid from all of these containers into the inputs down here. Of course, that would just barely not line up very well. Uh, we can fix that. Not the crisscross, please. There we go. Okay, so we make the thermofluid, we pump it into here. If there's a small, a fairly small amount, relatively, if this lot is 125th full, we stop pumping it through this way. Uh, we always pump it into the inputs for our thermal radiator tier 2s. We have 72 of them. 
which still only needs half a pipe, so I don't think we need to worry about pipe throughput at all. Um, and then... I'm going to guess for now that we don't need to bring other temperatures of thermofluid back here. Uh, we do have a bit of room left over to maybe incorporate that, if that's not the case, but probably if there's something that significantly different, a redesign, a partial redesign is in order. Okay, I think I named these stations already. Fantastic. Uh, we need to pick up our tier 2 thermal radiators, of which we should have like a hundred. Nope, we're still trying to make some. So how many do we have? 82, perfect. Just, a, just enough to make all of this and then some. Are we making hypercoolers here already? Or were those all left over from upstairs? Yeah, I think all of those are upstairs. Hey, young Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do not launch browser right now. There we go. Alright, I think... I think I'll just send the spiders up this way to pick up the uh wait do we not have them uh oh why do we have no hypercoolers i thought i fully automated those probably because we're trying to make radiation facilities Can I just turn this one off for now? Now we're going to make some hypercoolers. Uh, well, at this rate, I guess it would be easier, actually, to just make them down here. Um, wait. What's this? Hierarchy. Hypercooler. Uh, let's go for... 30. And I don't know which it's going to make first. Probably should have... Uh, no, I think I did already, but I was going to say I probably should have checked the ratios for when we've got these machines maxed, uh, maxed out. So, 72 of these, less than one pipe in and out, uh, 648 thermofluid per second. We're only making 272 with this, but we're going to have a lot of it coming back after it's been used. So that might actually be sufficient, we'll see. Uh, if it isn't, we do have room to, like, double that pretty easily. Um, we've got... Well, only 12. Doesn't feel like enough, actually. 12 machines for each of these. Do they have the speed modules? Yes. So that is net zero called thermo fluid, but... That's only true until we stop making uh, supercooled. 156 supercooled per second, 312 cold if supercooled is backed up. Uh, how fast does, for example, this thing use supercooled? Oh, 
Wait, it doesn't use super cold. What am I saying? 1.7k cold thermo fluid. Yikes. Um. And this is about a third of that, a bit more than a third. So we're actually going to need to copy this block a few times uh, at this rate. But for now, let's just get things functional. So if you said already on that, make everything... How does it know the lesser ingredient order? Hey, Rorisol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, short answer, it doesn't. Uh, you can see we've got anything greater than zero, output, anything, input count a couple of times here. It'll pick an arbitrary signal uh, out of the ones that are coming in. It, the, the way it's arbitrary is consistent, but, um, yeah, it, th there's, it, it'll always, I, I think, usually it's in order of what you see in the crafting menu, but I think I've seen exceptions to that. So, for example, uh, setting it up to make electric furnaces, we put in stone furnaces, we put in steel furnaces... Um, we've always had it crafting this first, and then this, and then this. So that at least gets done without any intervention. But, uh, there are some prerequisites, like, I don't know, maybe copper cable, where that's not going to be the case. Um, I have put a fair bit of thought into... We need to recycle this. Um, I have put a fair bit of thought into how I could... For one thing, have it build the prerequisites as a priority, but for another, have some sort of latch-like behavior where... You know, if we drop down to a hundred pipes, we make it until we have a thousand. And then we don't switch back to making pipes once it's down to 999. Um, we do get a little bit of that just by having the machine going really, really fast, and what we were doing earlier was have slow inserters taking from the machines. Uh, so for example, I only set it to make one stone furnace, but it would make several before... There would be another stone furnace in the logistic network and it would recognize that it doesn't have to make any more. Uh, but obviously that's not, you know, super specific or anything. So now we're on to trying to make hyper coolers again. And because we picked up the prerequisites, we no longer have those in the logistic network, and now we're making the prerequisites again. And it's going to sort of go back and forth like this a bit until we have enough that it doesn't do that. Um, but yeah. So what are we missing to get this actually working? Just heavy oil, apparently. Did I not... Request it. I definitely did, except for the part where we connect this. And the part where we tell LTN what the station has. This one's fine, this one's fine, this one's fine. That should actually be everything. Um, we'll need... Well, obviously there's some machines missing, it won't be full speed, and without uh, beacons that we can use in space, we are going to need a, a some number of blocks like this if we were to support uh, non-speed module space manufacturing, making tier 1 science at full speed. But that should be functional already. 
heavy oil is on its way. Oh, and we're getting it from the uh, scrap. Nice. It's a short trip, and we no longer have to worry about this overfilling. That looks kind of weird. Alright, so there's our heavy oil. And we're missing a pipe somewhere. It's this one, isn't it? I don't think I have any on me. Spiders? They're a bit further away than I thought. I, I sort of don't appreciate the scale of this base at this point. Um, I sort of take the blocks for granted as their own little units. Alright, here comes our pipe. Uh, along with a few other things. And there goes our thermofluid. Uh, we are on the efficient model, so so we need 500 to get one of these recipes started, and then it's going to take uh, not 200 seconds, but 200 divided by 3.6. Uh, almost a minute. Although, it is really weird that I'm seeing 0, 0.0 thermofluid in each of these. Still. Why is this not going full speed? Is there no fluid over here? That's... That's got no heavy oil... Oh, because that's going to the wrong... Oh. Well then. Um, let's do a little redesign of this, shall we? Heavy oil and heavy oil and this one and this one and this one and this one and so on. Fantastic. Now, are the inserters fast enough? Not... Oh, I was going to say not quite, but we're actually full on the output here, which seems a bit odd. Uh, the pump has stopped. Oh, that should be like 8,000. Just need enough to make sure it's able to get down here. Oh, that's weird. Why did this one get started first? This should be like, well, not the last one to get fluid, but not early. Is very odd. That is... Very, very odd, actually. Okay. So... We're pumping all of this in until these have an average of a thousand thermofluid in each of them. And we'll see if that's enough to 
I, I want the bare minimum in here to activate all of these before this switches off. That's obviously going to take a little bit of trial and error. Uh, the loop has started though, so things are going to accelerate a bit now. We also have to consider how much 25 degree thermofluid the entire thing is going to make. It's actually net positive. So, yeah. 92 per second. Okay. So I really don't think we need any more of these machines up here. We've got two machines active now. What do you do? Also, I just want to double check there wasn't like an efficient version of this recipe that I missed. Ten... No, you, you don't lose anything from the hypercooler unless you use cryonite slush. Okay. That's cool. Uh, no pun intended. Really does take its sweet time, though. So how much does this need? Only ten. You would think... Like, the output from this... Would all go to here. Or almost all of it go to here. Oh, there we go. Wow. That... <laughs> That recipe is a little bit faster than this one. These ones take their sweet time to finish one recipe, and then there's just a burst of activity in the hypercoolers. That will not be the case when the whole thing is operating. But, yeah. It's going to take a while to reach full speed. My main issue with space exploration is the stupid amount of resource buffers it keeps inside machines. Uh, Math Mike, I'm guessing you're referring to things like... Okay, I can't see it here, but how about the old 5.9 thousand chemical gel in the output of the space manufactory? I'm guessing that's a good example of what you're referring to. Does it do the same with inputs? No, it doesn't look like it. Not at all, actually. Yeah. Nine hundred and seventy-nine negative ten degree thermo fluid sitting in the output of this one. It's not as bad, but this is a pretty small. Uh, building. It looks like... It kind of looks like it should be 2x2, two two, but it's actually 3x3. Three three. Okay. Um... Honestly, I could kind of stare at this for a while as it speeds up. I definitely would if I wasn't streaming probably do something else and keep checking in on it, but hey. Uh, so, what else are we doing? We need, we need a thermofluid and blank data cards. I think that's everything to get this block working. Which thermofluid do we need dropped off? Uh, I think that's negative 100. Yep. So, that's going to take a little while. Um, especially since we've got, like, a one-to-one -one ratio where we don't put any of the... I could put a pump here so that we at least... Should I balance it or should I just wait until a uh, hypercold thermofluid is full before we get cold thermofluid? It would be trivial to put a pump in here. 
And then we need to connect these. I could just use a bit of red wire to compare them. Uh, let's see. Pump. Pump, 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 pump. Oh, there it is. I don't like how the offshore pump is way away from the pump in the auto sort. Okay. Um, we're going to use a red wire connected to this storage tank and connected to this storage tank or whichever one looks least bad uh, and we're just going to say negative 100 degree thermofluid greater than uh, negative 273 thermofluid and that'll keep it just about balanced because we are putting all of the cold thermofluid into uh, super cold thermofluid with our ratios. So implicitly it super prioritizes the uh, zero Kelvin. So all we have to do is block that one. This is starting to look kind of pretty. Um, what should we do with like our last 10 minutes or so? Uh, hmm. I think we can bump down our... Nah, I want to make sure we've got plenty of these the next time I need them. Just let it keep going. We only need 24 of these, 72 of these. The prerequisite can stay at a small number. Uh, I guess we could make a start on data cards, although for some reason I've been dreading it a little bit. But it should be fairly simple, right? We don't have to deal with scrap if we use the chemical gel, but... But, but, but... Um, chemical gel version is a lot more expensive in terms of fluids. So we get one rough data storage substrate and we either use chemical gel, which is more expensive, or we use some cosmic water, we get back contaminated cosmic water, 1% scrap. Uh, that should be pretty easy to deal with, honestly, uh, in the rail network. Now, where should I put it? Also, I don't know how much of a block I want to dedicate to polished data storage, uh, storage substrates. Do they go into anything else? Polished. Uh, they go into blank data cards, and that's literally it. So I think we'll use the one block. We need copper plate, advanced circuit, rough data storage substrates, and cosmic water. That's pretty easy. Uh, two physical, one fluid output to deal with. We can just use two stations, uh, Polished data at one, scrap at the other. Contaminated cosmic water can be connected to either of them, just like this. We don't need any fancy circuitry with the precise loaders like this one. Alright, so last question is where do I want to put it? Uh, since we know that 
we need to add rough data storage substrates to the rocket delivery system. Let's do that. I want the blank data cards to be relatively close to this block. Probably just put it down here where we've already got a bunch of scaffolding. It shouldn't matter that much. Okay. Scrap seems like free resources, kind of. It's just a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, the only reason we switched over to chemical gel over here, we actually already put everything in place to deal with the scrap and uh, contaminated cosmic water, but believe it or not, we ended up with a situation over here where we were full on petroleum and everything was stopped because of that. Um, we could maybe consider changing this back to the other recipe. Probably. Uh, we are going to have to... Uh-oh. I think I made a mistake. These have to rotate around. Two, four, six, eight. I hope that's right. Yeah, that should be it. And then we need this to not be chemical gel anymore. Um... For that to be the case, I need to pump it back this way. Let's send the spiders. I could, of course, delete that fluid, but I don't want to. And contaminated cosmic water is already connected up properly. Oops. So then we need cosmic water uh, to be input into here, which this is already in place. That's going to be trivial. I guess you could use crafting combinators to swap the recipes. Changing the fluid inputs would be a problem, though, unless you... I guess we've got, like, inputs on this side, this side, this side, this side. You could always have piping to bring both chemical gel and cosmic water to these things. Uh, still, I think I would rather not. What's this? Oh, a media was shot down. Okay. So, we need uh, decontamination facilities. Do we have those here? Decontamination facility. Let's do like 20. I kind of want these pipes to get done as well, so I'll just leave that running while we're not looking. And spider, go here please. Wait, am I still in the spider? I didn't even realize. <laughs> uh, okay, that was really quick. Note, there's still 109k. Okay, I should correct myself. Um... Remove this first, because it doesn't actually separate 
pipe networks for this purpose. And then one, two, three. And there go our data storage substrates again. This time much more cost effective again. How many panels do we have? Uh, 3.8k sitting here at the moment. That's actually not that indicative. We have a full cargo rocket of tier 2 flat solar panels. That's nice. Why don't we have our construction spiders? Where did they go? Oh, that's right. They were building this. Um, what are we missing here? Just some lights? Bit of belt. Uh, seems they needed a lot of belt, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's check. We've got our steel, copper, plastic, glass. Seems the... Oh, this is old. These are the circuits I was using when I just started using LTN. That had a built-in priority system, because I didn't know to what extent LTN would do that. Um, but yeah. Sulfur and stone drop-off, that's not correct. As long as the station works, it's not actually a problem. Sulfur steel drop-off, that's not correct either. There might be trains coming here, so I don't want to change it right now. We did get all of the buildings made. I think it's literally just belt. That shouldn't say heat shielding. So many wrong station names. Okay. And there it is, there's a train coming. Alright, let's bring our spiders back. And if I park them about here, it should get all of the belts done. I can't remember what I was looking at Nalvis for, though. Auto-crafting continues. Um, we were going to do data storage substrates down here. Or rather, blank data cards. I need to remember to make the pickup station for blank data cards here a low priority so that we pick up the uh, side uh, the side effect output blank data cards as a higher priority implicitly we also need signals like so like so Let me just check on that build. We're still missing belt. What's going on? Wait, are these guys full? No? Oh, we're not actually making belt over here yet. That's like the one thing. Okay, back to one of the old malls. There we go. Yeah, because belts require lubricant. I hadn't set that up yet. Look at all that lovely science. Hundred K plus what's in each of these sets of chest. Only forty K each for some reason. How's our storage looking? 
probably not that great since we, um... Okay, apparently we're completely full on iron ore. And stone. And coal. And basically full on copper. Um, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. After we made that rocket that fills itself up with, um, space capsules. It is probably still... It's almost half full. No, it's more than half full. Wow. That is not taking anywhere near as long as I would have thought. In that case, um... Expensive thing that I was thinking about doing. What was it? Uh... I'm actually blanking on it. Alright, let's, uh... I wish you could queue up, like, ordering the spiders to stop for, like, X number of seconds. So I could tell them to move here, get resupplied, come back here. Fire and forget. Alright, that goes there. Goes there. Signal go burn. Uh, let's just start listing the things we need. Rough data storage substrate, cosmic water. Rough. Cosmic. Uh, and then... Advanced circuit and copper plate, and I think that's it. The inputs and our outputs are blank data card, scrap. Is it regular scrap? Uh, yeah, it's just regular scrap, and I'm pretty sure the next step doesn't produce any scrap. Okay. Um, and contaminated cosmic water. So we can really easily set up two stations to drop all of this off. Uh, depending on the throughput, we're probably going to put advanced circuit and copper plate on half belts each, maybe. Um... I doubt we can fit all of this into a block. Pr maybe, actually. Well, let's pretend we can. Um, copper plate and red circuit, 71 per second, 142 per second. Okay, so we need... Look, call it four belts for copper plate and two for red circuits. Um, if we do the half belt thing, they can only get, like, two belts total. Unless we do the half belt thing on both sides, which merging is a pain. Uh, I don't think we'll do that. So, we'll do copper plate on this side. Um... Maybe something like this. And red circuits on this side. Uh, that only needs 90, uh, 70 something per second, so. Right side, 90 per second. Oh, I need the space version. Right, 90 per second. Probably should have... Maybe not included the filter inserters in that blueprint. No 
big deal. And we need the space ver oh I haven't made the space version of these um combinators less unloaders. Uh what was it we actually need? Like 140 per second? If we're gonna mimic this. It's only a ballpark, but still, yeah, 142 per second. That's more than three belts. So that's going to take up, like, this much space, um, which is no big deal. Uh, the rough data storage substrates... are going to be... 91.5 per second? That's actually slightly upsetting. It's like just barely more than a pair of blue belts. Uh, anyway, it is about time to finish for today. Bioscience does not... isn't active all the time. Bioscience will burn it just well. Need light oil for rocket fuel. Need to burn the truck. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, cosmic water is just a little bit of heavy oil and water. Ultimately. Please teach me? Okay. Uh, always happy to. But for now, we do need to find another stream to raid. Let's save real quick before my eyes close on me. You mean the significant data card? Ah, oh, you're a bit ahead, yep. Okay, uh, we raided Mucky yesterday, there is that blue, perhaps, Mats, that's German. Uh, What do we want? A mega base? Or early space exploration? Alright. Let's go for the mega base one. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. Oh. Hmm. We found a bee right back. Let's surprise them. Why not? I already pulled the trigger on the raid. Alright. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Coffee. Yay.